Moving on, Rivian has begun adding NAX to its Rivian Adventure Network. So this week, they launched their first NAX native RAN dispensers, Rivian Adventure Network, I'm just going to call it RAN from now on, Mm -hmm. at its Joshua Tree location. This comes fresh on the heels of the announcement slash release of the 2026 R1 quads, which feature a native NAX port. The Joshua Tree location initially had 12 CCS dispensers, but now operates 8 CCS and 4 NACs. It is expected that the next locations to get the NACs treatment will be their charging outposts in Yosemite, as well as the Hamptons. Ooh, the Hamptons. Jeez. So yeah, looks, I mean... It looks like this was uh, due to the federal charging grants that they were able to do this money with. Uh, so um, those will be gone soon. So I'm glad they could get that in before those things went bye bye bye. So yeah, I mean that. I mean that's glad. I'm, I'm that's glad. I'm glad we're seeing that. Uh, we've seen some charge points. You know, we have some here that changed to some NAX adapters too as well. So, uh, yeah, it just makes it a lot easier to charge if you are a Tesla. You can charge on the RAN network now, or if you have a NAX port, you can now charge on the RAN network without having to use a bulky adapter. Yeah, and I mean, and this isn't surprising at all considering they're selling vehicles with native NAX ports now. Of course, own in-house charging brand is going to have a port that matches the vehicles they sell yep duh duh that's how it should be but yeah 